Um, the idea exists in a lot of programming languages, of course. So, um, but as Haskell is a bit different, it's a functional programming language, you know. So everything is about Haskell. I'm, I'm being, you know, I'm putting this, you know, sugar around it. Um, because I personally love Haskell very much, even if I know that I will never work with Haskell in a company or, you know, um, I've read in Stack Overflow survey, let me show you this real quick. You see Haskell is 2.09% among what? Among programming, scripting and markup languages. So all respondents. So let's see professional developers in which position Haskell is. So search for Haskell, right? 1.8%. So yeah, it's even below Perl and Objective-C. It's even below VBA. Can you imagine that? That's, um, that's a shame. Learning to code. Okay, hopefully that's going to be a bit higher. Haskell 2.51, no, still low. All right, guys, with that, shut the video and do not watch any of my Haskell tutorials anymore. No, I'm joking. Uh, we are learning just, you know, for fun. Let's see also where Haskell lies. So Haskell here, okay, 2022 median yearly salary in in, in US dollars, 80,000. That's, that's relatively low, but that's not very low compared to C Sharp, for example, in 2022. In 2023, Okay. Um, yeah, but if you will compare that to, but that's that's really odd. It's more, it's higher than uh, Python. It's higher than Python, or maybe I'm mistaken. So take a look. It's eighty five thousand six hundred seventy two in twenty twenty three. Let's take a look to Python. Seventy eight thousand yearly. Right. So you see Rust and Haskell. They are close to each other, which is quite interesting in terms of salary. Go is higher, makes sense. Erlang, Lisp, Scala, Closure. Right, so yeah, this was a little bit of a distraction, guys. But what I want to tell you here is that learning is good, um, even if you will not use it in a direct way, uh, but enriching your knowledge is something that you can do for your own good, believe me. All right, um, enough with the